First of all, when you open up Adobe Animate CC, if you have a cloud account, it'll ask you to sync with that. I'm not going to worry about that functionality at the moment, and therefore I'm just going to disable the syncing settings at the moment. Once you start, you'll be given your options of what new files you would like to start with. So you've got available HTML5 Canvas, WebGL, and ActionScript. We're going to be working with ActionScript 3.0, so let's click on that. This will open up a blank stage for us. The layout is much the same as the older versions with the timelines down the bottom. Our, now our tools are on the right hand side of our screen. We still have our properties and our library available to us. And there's some other menus that are in the middle here, such as our palette. And also we can get back to our creative cloud. One of the things we want to do is change our environment around so we're able to use um, the older tutorial so that it's very similar. So if we head up to window and head down to workspaces, we're actually able now to select some different versions. So what we'd like to do is select the classic. This will give us the standard old flash layout and enable us to use older tutorials and find where the tools are. So let's click on classic. Now the layout now has our tools on the left hand side where they normally are. Timelines move from the bottom to the top. We still have our stage. I'm just gonna close down our library. We still have our properties on the right hand side and our library on the right. So one of the things we need to get used to is the properties rather than being at the bottom of the stage is now up here on the right. And you'll find that when you're working with Adobe Animate, you're always flicking between library and properties anyway. So it's very useful. I like having my timeline at the top. If I'm coding, I would actually alter that slightly for a different feel, but it's a good way to start. Now one of the things we want to have a look at is how do we use floating um, palettes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold down command and go T for the transformation palette. And now this has popped out and you can actually see the, the icons here. I'm going to snap that away from the bar now. So you notice that I've take, actually taken it out of this palette set here and it's now on my stage. If I click on this little arrow, it turns it into a floating palette. Now the good thing about this is I can put it wherever I want. So if I need it, I can easily just click on it whenever I need it. So sometimes I like to actually put this over on the left hand side and it allows me to put objects on there and transform them. Some people don't mind it back in the palette so you can actually open it up, move it back in and dock it back into the, the bar. You can adjust where these are if you'd like to move them around. So you can move them around to put them in order that you would like. So this gives us control over our environment. Remember to go up to file and make sure you save your work before you end any project. But that gives us a really good interface to develop our first animation.